Namaste kings and queens. Welcome back to my channel. I am Intuitive Flow. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back, spiritual family. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also, health and wealth. This is going to be a late night reading. It's late again, y'all. It is 1.08 a.m. And I'm being called to do um, the Secrets They Keep reading for the collective. If you feel you resonate with me as a reader, please make sure you like up on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Um, it truly helps the channel grow. It also helps with the algorithm, with getting the beautiful messages out to the collective. Please remember these messages are general, so they may or may not resonate. If you feel they may resonate with someone else that you know, feel free to share the video, okay? Um, if you're ever interested in a personal reading, yes, I am open for personal readings. You can text me 951-444-8082. And just to touch on that, whoever keep texting me from a 858 number, some weirdo, I don't know who it is, but stop, okay? Yeah, an 858 number watch yourself okay um i think that's it so let's go ahead and hop into this late night reading the secrets they keep that is the oracle i'm using first here this mini deck and let's see what's going on with your person the secrets they keep holy divine spirit all right we have heart focus so I just, I just heard heartbreak and you got the best of me. But I just keep on coming back. So someone could be feeling heartbroken. Or someone is feeling bad about breaking your heart here. We have bad sex, acceptance, and confusion. So it seems like someone was keeping a secret in regards to bad sex. Or this could have been you coming to some type of um, accept, acceptance. Or this is them to come into an acceptance in regards to how you feel about the intimacy between you two. Um, there could have been some confusion within the connection. And what it boils down to or what it came down to is you know, someone not being able to keep up their performance in the bedroom. Um, this could be like an, a blow to the ego for a masculine male energy. If this is a feminine uh, energy, they could be just feeling heartbroken, um, feeling confused, um, and accepting the fact that, you know, you weren't being honest or this person wasn't being honest with you. In regards to sex, all right, we have prideful. Someone's pride could have been getting in the way here. I'm also hearing somebody is, someone is choosing confusion over clarity. Like someone has the option to gain clarity in regards to a situation, but they're com they're choosing to be confused. Like I'm just picking up on a combative energy. Like if this is regarding intimacy or a, or lack thereof, like someone is willing to have a conversation in regards to what they mean or how they truly feel about this and someone just doesn't want to hear it. Someone's pride is in the way and someone's just like, how dare you? Yeah, declining sex here with speechless. Yeah, someone is speechless. Like Because this could be an energy around someone never hearing this before. Someone always thinking that they got the best 
sex in the world. No one's ever told them the truth. People could have always been faking with this person and you could have been the only one, the main one, to tell them the truth about their shit. Like, your sex really ain't that bomb, bruh. Um, you could have started declining sex with this person. And it's, it's like declining sex is coming under bad sex, so... And then speechless is clarifying heartbroken. So somebody is definitely heartbroken and speechless. So this could have been you. This could have been you advising this person with how you felt about the sexual intimacy between the two of you. And they are heartbroken and speechless, okay? This is something you could have been holding back for a while. You didn't know how to tell them, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're accepting this. We have new beginning under acceptance. But under declining sex, we have uh, coveting, unfulfilling, loss, interest, STDs, taking meds, no passion. So in regard to the bad sex or the declining of sex, it could have played a lot of parts, okay? Someone could have been taking some type of medication. Someone could have been taking some type of antibiotics in regards to an STD. Somebody could have just simply lost interest due to someone being unfaithful and definitely catching some type of STD. Um, it's giving energy around like this person they could have been honest with you about stepping out on the relationship and the way you could have found out about this is finding some type of medicine that this person was taking and you were wondering why they were declining your sex or they weren't showing any passion towards you anymore or it was seeming like they were losing interest and you could have went you could have started probing or prying and yeah, definitely you could have came across the actual medication. You could have came across some paperwork, um, a prescription or something like that. But a lot of you guys are accepting this fact uh, and you're moving forward and new beginnings. I feel like somebody is just heartbroken and, and speechless because of the fact that you're accepting the situation for what it is and you're moving on. And you're right about this, okay? It says, right, this is the right thing to do. Some of you guys may be confused about making this decision. You could be feeling bad, okay, about leaving this person. For some of you guys, it doesn't have to be like an STD um, or a medication for an STD. It could be a medication in regards to um, a medical condition, which I picked up on this energy last night, I believe, in a reading on like a male having like erectile dysfunction or it could even be a feminine woman who is very insecure about her yoni. Uh, maybe she gets, you know, frequent BVs, okay? Or yeast infections or something like that. Or what I'm getting to is confusion around this insecurity about their yoni due to someone stepping outside of the connection and throwing the feminine energy's pH off, okay? That's very significant and very specific, okay? We have stressed out here at the bottom of the deck, divorce, laid off, um, relationship issues, eviction, family issues, and work issues. So this could definitely be stressing this person out. Okay, yeah, I'm getting, I'm picking up on a tower moment or like energy in regards to like um, a decline. A decline within like a, a lot of different aspects of their life here. We have revenge. Okay, we have Instagram, but it wanted to come out in the reverse. All right, I feel like somebody is taking a break from social media here. Or someone is choosing to stay away from, from Instagram. Or they, they're closing their account. Or they're, they, you could be blocking someone here. Someone could be trying to reach out to you. We have sneaking out.
where the womanizer here. And then we have has a boyfriend or a girlfriend here. So this person could have definitely, definitely been on some shady shit, you know. It definitely could be in regards to like this person sleep with, sleeping with multiple people due to their, their insecurities in regards to their sex. I'm picking up on someone with a small uh, genitalia. And that, okay, so the way they feel like they get some sense of power or um, security or feeling good about themselves is by sleeping with multiple or even random people. Um, but in fact, that does nothing but bruise their ego even more because you are still the one that they can't seem to satisfy here. We have has a boyfriend or girlfriend and then we have mistake here. So I do definitely feel like they feel like they made a mistake if this was your your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, they feel like they made a mistake in not just being honest with you in regards to what's really been going on as it pertains to their health, as it pertains to what's going on, not only with their physical health, but with their mental health as well. This person could have been dealing with these insecurities as a young child here. Um, not as far as like their sexual insecurities, but I am picking up on the insecurities around sex did play a part in their teenage years here. Clarify mm -hmm. this revenge here. It's like giving the energy of someone wanting to get revenge back on a specific person, but they were getting the revenge through everyone but the person they really wanted to get the revenge on. It's like you you got the bad end of the stick or the short end of the stick. Oh shoot. I got my whole deck back up here. Clarify revenge. Four of Wands here. With the Two of Cups. Wow. And the Ace of Swords. So what I'm getting here with the, with the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups, this is somebody who definitely was seeking revenge or did seek revenge. And this is the type of revenge where they invited someone new or this could have been multiple people inside your home to do these acts, these sexual acts, or um, they were unfaithful with someone inside your home. This is somebody new. This could be someone that they had, they just met here. What is this? But they feel like I'm picking up on like a regretful feeling. Again, this is something that they've been dealing with for a long time. Um, they could have went out and did this after you told them that the sex was bad or after you, conf uh, not confided, but after you were truthful with them about how you really felt. Look, we have the, the devil energy here, Capricorn energy you could be connecting with or you're a Capricorn, but they definitely went out to seek this revenge is what I see here. Yep. Temperance in the reverse here. They were upset. They were angry. They were thinking irrationally. Um, they couldn't wrap their mind or their brain around you telling them about themselves. Okay, this could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't care. They were only thinking about themselves. They were definitely drunk. Okay, they were inebriated. Um, they could have even had some type of um, drug substance as well. Okay, some type of pills or powder or shrooms they were on something okay because i am here in psychedelic but there it was an imbalance here they weren't balanced emotionally um, or mentally here when they made this decision to bring this person back to the home you guys live in 
or they went back to someone else's house. They went back and sex was involved here. And they acted out of their pride, their ego. Um, and again, this is letting me know that this person could have just simply had a conversation with you. Instead, they went out to seek revenge because they felt that you were trying to belittle them or trying to make them feel like shit or you were trying to, yeah, make them feel bad. But you were just simply trying to be honest, finally, for once. And it, again, this took you a while. If you're resonating with this, like, you didn't know how to tell this person this. You've been feeling this way for a while. But you feel free, whoever I'm connecting with. You feel free. What's this Instagram in reverse? Because I feel like some of you guys have started to move away from the connection due to the lack of sexual intimacy or the loss of interest. Um, you were not being fulfilled. Um, and I feel like a lot of other things played a factor, but that was like the main factor. It's like you were you already weren't being fulfilled. And then to find out this person was unfaithful. Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups here? This is the Nine of Wands. And I've seen no Nine of Wands in this deck as well. There could be something this person is trying to hide from you, though, on social media. This, this person could be lying about having a social media account, or you could have caught this person on social media plenty of times, chatting it up with people, even making plans to see them or sneak out. Um, they could have told you that they, they changed their account, or they closed it, or they blocked it, but I feel like they definitely could have made a new one here a new account but you know they have you blocked on it or they have some way here of you not finding out that they have this new account here they're very strategic about it um or they could be camouflaging this account as like a business account or like you know they're showcasing things on this page or they're making the page look like something other than what it is Look, there it is again. They feel wounded. The Nine of Wands again. This is a wounded warrior. Okay, this is a bruise to their heart, a bruise to their ego. For some of you guys, they could have, you know, played it off like whenever you were honest with them about this situation, they could have maybe made you feel like, you know, okay, that's cool, I'm fine, no worries, you know. But then went out and, and sought revenge. Yeah, they were bruised for sure. And I feel like this person, this person thinks that by sleeping with someone else or getting revenge by doing the unthinkable will help heal the situation or heal their heart or heal the connection. Uh, but it, it only, it's only going to make the situation worse. For some of you guys, this person did have some type of surgery or they there is something that they're healing from or they're having a difficult time healing from or getting through or maneuvering through and because they weren't honest with you about this um you had to you were as honest as you could in the most genuine and compassionate way with the information that you had had you known um previously this person's history or their past or what they've been through um to make them be the way that they are today or the type of man or woman that they are today whether they're promiscuous whether they have a medical condition whether they have some type of uh ptsd 
or sexual trauma, whatever it is, they didn't confide in you or open up to you about this to where you can understand why this person is the way that they are. All right, what is this sneaking out? This person could definitely have some type of sex addiction. Knight of Cups here. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles, yes. Three of Wands. It's like each and every time this person stepped out on someone, not even just you, um, but each, uh, each time they stepped out on somebody, they felt worse and worse. They felt they feel good in the moment, but after that moment, they're back to feeling sad and feeling like shit and feeling like how they felt the first time they felt when they were younger. I don't know exactly what happened, but it's something that's stemming from their childhood here for sure. I'm picking up on the energy. There's a towel and justice. Um, I'm picking up on the energy of somebody getting teased, a male, a male energy getting teased by an older woman or girl uh, when they were younger in regards to their, their penis. I, it's like I, I can't sugarcoat every fucking word like and it's like they never redeemed themselves yeah the eight of cups here yeah this person doesn't stay in any situation at all Two of Pentacles. It's giving like they like the energy of like juggling or going back and forth or the energy of things not being stable, especially with the devil and the temperance in the reverse here. This is a very unstable energy and an imbalance um, within and without. So this person does have, have a lot of inner healing that they need to do. But they haven't yet come into acceptance of this new beginning here. Um, it's also energy around this person being told over and over and over again um, about um, their sexual deviance or demons or um, things that they need to. It's like things that they need to confront that they're running away from. And I just heard, as long as this person been having sex, how could they be bad at sex? And the reason why they're bad at sex, okay, is because their first introduction to it was very demonic. It was very um, dark and it was like really like raw. Like I'm, I'm getting images of somebody just like, being very aggressive with this person. There was no passion. There was no love. There was no emotion. It was all lust. And that's the energy. I, I posted that on my community board. Like, lust is in the air. Like, you know the difference between lust and love. And so this person has yet to experience what true love making is. Okay. So again, their introduction to sex could have turned them into this womanizer. And whoever, you know, it was that introduced them to this, like really pumped them up and made them feel like they were really doing the damn thing when in fact they weren't. And nobody, I mean, nobody told this person up until this point or up until you did. Clarify the womanizer. Judgment came out in the struggle position. So again, having issues or struggling with making a decision to make a change for the better for their life here. Queen of Swords here. With the Six of Pentacles. Not answering the true calling, not looking themselves in the mirror, not coming to the realization or facing the music to the things that they need to cut off and rid of and really 
hone in on as it pertains to true love, true emotions, true self-love, self-worth, and self-value, okay? The person that you're dealing with, they've had a hard time throughout their life um, valuing themselves. This could definitely be a male energy that I'm picking up on here. Yeah, the, the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Sun. It's like as soon as they, remember I told you guys somebody's struggling between confusion and clarity? Like they're confusing, they're confusing. They're choosing to be confused over gaining clarity. And with gaining clarity is going to bring them the option to make a decision to choose light, to choose love, to choose joy. To choose contentment. But this person is uncomfortable. Um, this person is uncomfortable with being truly happy. They rather the facade of it. Because they they are afraid of <clears throat> they're afraid of true love. They're afraid of getting their heart broken. Um, again who this person has a lot of trauma, okay, from their past. This could even be in regards to someone's mother or I'm also picking up on a mother's friend because like I said, there was a, a younger man, a younger gentleman, could have been a teenager who was introduced to sex at a young age. It could have been by an older woman. Look, y'all, it's, it's late, but, you know, this is, there's a mistake here. What is this mistake? This person feels like they made a mistake, though. I feel like, they feel like they made a mistake with you because you were the only one who were, who was honest. We have the death card here. You were the only one that was honest enough to tell this person about themselves, and instead of them, Taking it in that manner, they went out and did what they always do, which is seek revenge, rather than, again, face the music with the judgment card, go through a spiritual transformation with the death card. Yep, seven of swords. Yep, and deceive themselves once again, avoiding the light. And, and they feel more comfortable in the dark, like a darker energy. It's like this person shot themselves in the foot, mistreating you or mishandling you or not hearing you out. It's like, yeah, they think they're doing something, seven of swords, going out, cheating, uh, lying, being deceptive, sneaking out, but in turn, they're just hurting themselves. You could be a Scorpio. Leo, or you could be connecting one of them, one of these signs. Okay, we have the King of Swords here, and the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I'm picking up on the energy of someone having, like, being stopped. By someone else's partner here. Because I just heard, uh-oh, like I made a mistake. This person could be sleeping with someone else's wife or husband. And in the midst of them trying to go back and be deceptive, sneak out, go and cheat with this person's girlfriend or boyfriend. They so they just so happen to be home. Like I see someone being stopped in their tracks, or asking like, "Who are you? What are you doing here? How do you know my girlfriend? How do you know my boyfriend?" And then I see someone backing up very slowly. 
Yeah, strength card, the star, and the title card. They went back to someone for some sexual healing after feeling like shit when you told them the truth. Although you weren't telling them the truth to make them feel like shit. They are feeling like shit on their own because they have things that they need to tend to acknowledge uh, within and they are avoiding it. But it's like kind of like that energy I'm picking up like... Um, a robber always goes back to the crime scene. Clarify it has boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, it's like this person is their drug or their antidote or they their fix. It's something that these two do together that takes this person outside of reality and into like fic like like fiction an illusion a fairy tale like they they assist this person in escapism whoever this is that they are sneaking to go see this is somebody else's woman tell you the truth eight of cups the energy i'm picking up with that is like when this person went looking for this refuge in this woman or this man they were no longer there they were no longer available they had ultimately walked away from this person here turned their back on this person Wow, Ace of Cups. Look, there. listen. With the Three of Cups, I cannot make this shit up. I'm telling you, this is somebody's man answering the door, backing this person up. This Knight of, this knight of Pentacles is your person. They were stopped in their steps. There's a pair here. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. This person confessing their love for their actual partner here. Like, you can't come back here. We can't do this anymore. Now, either they do this in front of the person, the other the other party, or they're going to sneak out, find some way to call them, text them, DM them, or something, and tell them, like, we can't do this anymore. Three of Cups. Like, there was some third-party bullshit going on here. Okay? So that is your late night reading. I'm about to take me a nice hot shower and go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped. Don't forget to like the video and I will see y'all in a few hours. I think I'm going to do the elements reading. Um, what's really going on? Or I might do a spiritual animal or a spirit animal. I don't know. Whatever I'm feeling guided to, you guys. But yeah, like this video and I'll see y'all on the next one. Love you. Peace. Ashe.